firing off all these questions. Uh, Did you have any idea how it was how how it was being received outside of Australia, and what were your thoughts at the first convention in the US? I had n no idea how it was being received. I remember because I think I came at the end of season one, and I remember going down uh, an op shop, like a second-hand store in Parramatta Road, and I saw props and things that they, they were selling, like really cheap, like, I thought that's from, this. they were just like getting rid of it. Um, and then I heard some, from Paul, God, from Paul Goddard, I think, told me like I heard this that there was this buzz and it was like really taking off and it was, it was like wow yeah it was, it was sort of like this right it, and we, we honestly had no idea did we no, we didn't yeah. not even even today you know all after all these years I've never worked on anything with such a momentous uh, energy. Um, we've got Doug Lock here. David, what was the best episode you did with Wayne? I loved working with Wayne. Did you know that I didn't even know I was working with Wayne for a couple of episodes because he was always in his um, in his prosthetics, and I didn't know that I'd met him before. Really? I had thought, yeah. No idea. I did that with Anth as well, with Dargo. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, we had scenes together and stuff at the beginning. It was like a week or two in, and this guy, at the end of the day, would be like, oh, bye, Jeez. And I'm like, why does he know my name? And then a couple, he'd come have a couple of conversations, and that he'd know stuff about me. I'm like, who the hell is this person? Creepy. Because he's always creepy. Because <laughs> 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 it's very hard to see, like, they don't look like humans when they we see them, and right? And I don't know about you, it was it was it was at the rap party of, of no. and I I found it really did, even though when I realized it was Wayne I didn't have a relationship with Wayne I had a relationship with the man in the in the suit in Scorpius. the get up so it was really weird because I it, it, it was like I didn't feel like I had a connection with Wayne even though it, like but it it was very strange uh so what about Matrix what was that like um because you play a fun. you play a Frenchie in Matrix yeah, don't Frenchie. you yeah I did not know that you can do the uh was it Frenchie um <laughs> that was that was cool they did it was it, I was a maitre d' when they the, the three of them go to the Maravigian and, and so, did you get to hang out? Did you get to like bond? I cracked a few jokes with them. What, was he nice? Was he not? Was Keanu nice? He was okay. He was okay. <gasps> no goss. But he's like, I would have like you said. Well, it's a bit dull, but like. <gasps> I can't imagine. I mean, saved saving the world. Feels like we're in a matrix right now, doesn't it? And I, 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 he's coming to his own now. He's like doing his own. Like I didn't get sort of like a, bl a blank slate is what I got. Oh really? She was fun. Kerry, Kerry, Kerry Moss was fun. Um, Kerry, she Kerry. was a she was a sweetie. Because she's in and Memento I, as well, right? I, yeah, that's a great move. That movie. I told, I gave her advice. I said because that, you know, her outfit was like super skin tight um, vinyl I said you make sure you have lots of yogurt and get some good pro bacteria <laughs> health tips for the, yep, for the movie you don't industry bacteria. Uh, so Laurie Fellow says was he creeped out by Scorpius the first time he saw him a little bit because it was excellent it was he's like a cadaver and a lizard you're getting some Xena lovers in here as well Wow. What did you? What? What That's were you? That's me doing my sword. <laughs> How many eps of Xena were you in? Were you a main character in Xena too? Not for like, not for like Farscape. I can't come in for. I know about six episodes, I think. 
That was that was fun too. Is that before, right? That was before Fast That was before. How much earlier before? Maybe a year or two. They're doing a uh, a Xena convention here, and there's a few people in the chat room that have been bought tickets and are hoping that the oh. world opens up in time so we can go oh. back into our Comic Con world. I'm like, come on, we all want to hug each other and hang out with each other. And it was great that the conventions we have a, had we had a a life of their own, and you get your own like relationship with with the fans and with with the rest of the cast and that was lots of fun there were lots of fun at, f- at first i felt i've got to say i was a little bit i don't know pretentious it's me pretentious um you know the alan rickman character in um galaxy quest yes oh, doing doing you know doing sci-fi um, sci-fi <laughs> <laughs> So I shouldn't be doing sci-fi. I should be doing. <laughs> and then I got over myself, and had the best time doing the doing the convention. It was well, really like because a lot of people here think that we're I, like I've se- I think we only do sci-fi because they don't ha- they haven't seen a lot of the Australian work and everything. So it's interesting when we go to the comic cons and you're like, I actually do human work as well. I actually do stuff you know on Earth, and everyone's like, Nah, I'm not interested. <laughs> Not yeah, boring. I yeah. saw I saw a film that I did like thirty years, thirty years ago. Thirty. Oh my three god. Zero. What? And what was it? What's it called? It's called Shame. It's about it's with Deborah Lee Finesse. <gasps> yeah, is the the lead in it, and um, and how I've never seen it since it was released, and um. Held up, you know. Hey, I don't. Was really quite nervous to watch it. It was like what seeing somebody else. It was like such a uh, really. What What was the What's the thing? What's the film about? Oh, it's about um, rape and violence against women in a country town oh, in uh. West Australia. It really holds up, really like seriously well. It's 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 a good good film and um, like. I was surprised that I mean I just got into the into the story because it was it was really good and but it, it wasn't like what I was I was but oh I'll be really self conscious watching myself it it was just somebody it was like somebody else was so long ago really how old were you oh no, am I allowed to ask you, you can ask me anything I 20, was a fetus twenty I was a fetus. <laughs> I wasn't even born yet and like was I, was in the sky. I was gorgeous I was gorgeous. Like, I remember. My, I remember. My, my like, my niece is going. Oh, talk about hot. Really? And I'm, thinking, and I'm going. This is kind of creepy. This isn't. I don't know if this is right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, next. Next question. Uh, so, uh, right. Uh, right. Because it, it was like another person. You know what I mean? It's very weird. Yeah. It's like an out of body experience almost. A good little film. Really good. Uh, Raven Slayer is saying that you should go oh, to Raven. Raven Slayer says that you should go to Perth and do Supernova. I, I think they also do Supernova in Sydney as well, right? I'm pretty sure. Uh, there's also a, a, a Raven Raven from from that used to be in San Diego. Uh, Ra- Raven at uh, this Raven I believe lives in Perth, so she says come oh, and visit. Perth. Yeah, hey Perth, Raven. Hey Westie. Uh, so I was born in Perth. I was born in Perth. Yeah, I was born in Perth first. I, true. <laughs> you, I'll let you have that one. All right, all right. Frio, right? I know, I've stalked you. Um, because uh, we did that tr- train movie, Last Train to Frio, and Frio is the nice part of Perth. I was born at St. John of God, Subiaco. 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 Talking about train movie, when I was like two... I had my first um, publicity. Uh, I got my first press. What? What I did was shark there was bite. Hole, there was a hole in the in the fence in our backyard, <laughs> and I crawled that, and I crawled onto the railway track. <gasps> and the train driver saw that there was a baby on the tracks. And, Are you yeah, for true, for true, that is for true. What were you? You're like I regret nothing. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, people want to know that when Farscape comes... When Farscape Parenting 101, I'm picking up some parenting tips. When, Fars, when Farscape comes back, will you play Bracker again? They want to know. Too busy? I might be able to squeeze it in. <laughs> but, um, there'd be such an outrage of me not being me. Right? I agree. Uh, I'm just would having be, a look. Wouldn't that be like wild? That that would be amazing. I've been I've been uh, begging Ricky and Brian and Rock. Have they got up their asses? Continuously, but I thought also isn't Labyrinth coming back? Did I hear something that uh, Ricky? Is that true? Or you guys would know? I believe they're doing a Labyrinth sequel. Are they not? I saw that on Facebook, so I don't know whether it's true or not. But I'm sure the people in the chat room will tell us. I'm just scrolling down. When I look over here, David, don't think I'm being rude. I'm reading. I don't think I'm just reading my phone. I'm reading the chat room. Okay, you're like, why does she keep uh, why looking? You're reading your phone. Right, she's just having a little little Facebook time over here. Shopping. David needs to do some online conventions, uh, like you are. So, David, there's a new thing which would actually work for you, but you'd have to get up. You'd have to wake up. <laughs> no, no. Uh, so there's like online conventions. I can send you the links and everything, and you do similar stuff like this. But you'd obviously the, uh, they do Zoom chats and stuff. Have you heard of Zoom before? I've never done it, but I know. Everyone knows about Zoom, right? Sorry, I don't know. I know. I know down under it I takes wanna, a little while to do, catch up. I want to do. Um, is that the one where you can change your background? Yes, 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 yes. I had Sky in here and she was sitting floating in, in, in outer space <laughs> with the headphones on. <laughs> I can't imagine what this poor kid, like for the first year and a half of her life, she was every, every single weekend at a Comic Con. So all she saw was Klingons and Stormtroopers and lightsabers and God knows what. And then now she's in isolation. So she's gone from one extent to the next and everyone's in a box. And she's like, well, when do they become real again? It's so trippy. Uh, I've seen... We're relaxing our um, Are you? Two, two people. Oh from yes. Keep your distance. Two people. So what? So you could. You're now allowed to have two people. You allowed yep. to congregate with two people. Two people over. Have two people over. Have to make some more friends now. I um, know. That's it. I'm like, do I even have two friends? <laughs> <laughs> it's like had one, and it was like, okay, I can deal with this. And it's like two. Oh, that's a bit much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Arms distance time. I don't even know. I have, everyone walks around with a tape measure. 1.5 uh, metres. Um, fuck friendly. Fuck, fuck, fuck. No, uh, what, what foot am foot. I? Inches? You're six foot. I'm five, six. What am I? Five, six? Oh, I fully do. But I was five, seven. I thought I was five, seven for ages. And then I think, you know what? That actually probably lost me roles because no one wants the chick to be taller than the main dude. And I actually measured myself and I was like, w at what point did I become 5'7"? I don't know, but it just stuck for ages. I was like, I probably right, lost right. him. That's probably so the reason why I didn't get the role. I've <laughs> always said that. Yeah, so I'm excited about my new movie. See, say something enough and it becomes the yes, truth. Yes, yes, yes. So I excited like that. about my new project. All, all those oh. new feature films. <laughs> Jumping uh, up on the couch. Jumping now, the couch. they want to know if that you did your own stunt, speaking of jumping on the couch. So, oh, it was fun being in outer space. That was real. Did you do? Were you in outer space? To do the wire work and stuff. The, the, the like the, the suit, space suit, and you do. I got to do. They didn't give me a space suit. I just went out as a, as a Nabari. Nabari, Nabari, Nabari. And you like you you backflip. Yes. Backflip. Got all the wire work and stuff because I had yeah, to go. Yeah, I, oh, that's what I, I believe I floated out there with Dargo for a while. I'm like, how hard is it getting your center of balance when you don't have any prosthetics on and just a tight, you know, skin tight suit? Whereas, yeah. poor, imagine poor Dargo going out there with the top heavy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! Uh, Sorry, that's we're getting we're getting the gas put on. So what is someone... that? I beg your pardon. Big pun. <laughs> Oh, so in, in in Canada, the, in Canada they're saying it's two meters apart that you've got to stay. Oh, so oh, oh. now are the beaches open, David? Oh I'm my! Have to move. Okay, you, do you want me to stay alive? Oh, we're going to see the tour. 
<laughs> what is happening out there? This is yeah, Dave, David's to tour. It's winter in Australia. Oh, uh, nice house. Yeah, we're getting the gas. See this? Can oh, this is lovely. Seat? What's your address? We'll all come over for a cup of tea. Mate. Can you see me or have I gone? Yeah, is that where you, is that where you watch? Yeah. Have you got you got Amazon Prime in Australia? Yes, 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 yes. Well, you know, Farscape's back on Amazon Prime. Hint, no, hint. I don't know anything. You know that. Yeah, Farscape's back, so you can watch yourself oh. on repeat. Oh yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> Wait, are you in the toilet now? You can't. <laughs> is that a guy with a naked guy? You have to move him because we're not allowed nudity on Twitch. <laughs> There's no nudity. Are you sitting on the John? No. It sounds like it. I swear I'm, to you. I can still hear that noise. <laughs> do, 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 do. Uh, this is, this uh, is not the toilet. Oh, that guy had pants on. They, they, they can all see it better than me. My eyesight's going because I'm you're in a smaller box than me. Let's have a look here. Back at the questions. Maybe he can suggest yep. some some artwork. What? Uh, not in not in Cali. Yeah, we're not allowed to go on the beaches here yet. But apparently, we're meant. To, apparently, things are lightening up in a couple of weeks. But they keep saying that, don't they? So, what's been if if you uh, if you have advice to people that want to get into the industry, what would you say? Run away! Run away! <laughs> well, if you're going to do it, you're going to do it. Um, but be as prepared as you can. Be ready for, be prepared for, so when good things happen, you're ready. Yeah. And make things happen. So what's and happening now? What, I mean, after, after in, what have you been doing since you moved back to Oz? Why, Why did you move back and leave me? Why did you leave me? Pardon? Why did you leave me? Well, you got, you had a, you had a baby and you had a partner. <laughs> and I thought, no, it's never gonna happen. I thought, then you got, you got a part, and I thought, no, oh. then you got a baby, and I thought, oh. <laughs> so, so close. <laughs> I do believe your act, exact words today were, did, you, did he make an honest woman of you, or are you still a slag, was the quote. <laughs> and I was like, oh, still a slag. <laughs> <laughs> Funny you should ask. <laughs> I've been looking forward to the stream, this stream all week. Um, uh, people are, are thanking you very much for being here, David. Uh, Welcome. Welcome. I noticed it, like in Australia, we've lost the L. What, Australia? You're welcome. You're welcome. $1 million. Oh, yeah. Where did it go? Where did it go? What happened? One million. Like I was listening to the news and the ABC reporter said one million. Said, really? La, 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 la. la. Yeah, a million. So, would you ever consider doing? Have you ever made your own? Would you ever get into like directing or writing or anything like that? Or is acting always I'd been your? Love to do, and I should get off my semitone bum and like create, write something. And because sometimes I think I'm vaguely amusing, and um, I think you're very, very good at procrastinating, as we all can be. But that would be. I would love to like have someone to play with and do that sort of stuff. Like just skits and make me do something comedic. That that interests me. I miss. Remember the comedy? Was it comedy company? Remember they? That was yeah. last funny skit show. And now, like there's Saturday Night Live, but it's so political. And that that was that was just good fun watching. There's nothing really like that on television now, is there? Uh, comedy company? Not that I know, but I'm. What do I know? Well, and you, you've been into video games and stuff. What have you been doing there? Um, oh, I did lots of, when I was in, in LA, I did lots of voice work on all the, the those big movies, like Thor and Pirates of the Caribbean. What? And the Pat, Pat, Black Panther. I was watching Black Panther at the movies. And I was, I went, because I, I went to see it and I thought, this movie seems familiar. And I realized, oh, I did voice That's me. Like that. That's me. What? So what did you have to do? Like the um, the loop groups, like the, ah, the 
How do I do that? I could do that. I could do this. Push the toy. Ah. Oh. I do. I do a good peekaboo. Did that? Uh, really? Yes. <laughs> I do a good peekaboo now. Peekaboo. <laughs> <laughs> hours of entertainment like the other day because she's it's just she's just starting to talk so it's becoming like um so uh my mum when we were in australia for, for christmas taught her tar for thank you and americans don't really know tar right yeah. um so uh she loves cotton buds at q-tips sure, for the americans as you do just because anything that she can throw on the ground and just buff around in That's so she girl. Threw them, threw them all on the ground, okay. and one, one by one, she's like, "Ta," I was like, "Oh, ta, ta, sweetie," and then she goes, "I don't know if it's going to go on floor." Ta. <laughs> A thousand Q-tips later, I'm like, "You're so amazing." She's amazing, and she says, "Yes, it's pretty cute." And she's just started saying, uh, "Yes, turtle and a good girl." And and yeah. my my mum had to go in to the doctors the other day, uh, t- today I believe. Actually, and she yesterday when she was on Face, ta- we were Facetime, and she goes, we call Mum Yaya. She so she goes bye bye Yaya. And I was like, oh, it's pretty much how I talk, you know, as well. Uh, what's the best <laughs> experience you've had with a fan at any convention? You gotta you're gonna have to come up with a goodie. What's the best? In, what's the best experience you've had with a fan? Well, you were talking about your beautiful German fan that showered you with, with lots of love. She, she knew everything about me. She knew more about me than I knew about me. She could have, maybe she was working for the I, she, IRS. She, <laughs> 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 nah. What about uh, Dragon Con? And what's been because oh, we've done Dragon a few Dragon Con. Cons together. Favorite. Dragon Con was my favorite. I just really loved it. The vibe there, because like you get everyone was stepping out in their cozies, and I, I know there was, it was just the vibe there. Like was I loved it because it was the three hotels, so you'd be sort of snaking around, and, and there'd be some Klingons and putting you in put jail, and because that's what they did, didn't they? The Klingons put you in jail. Oh, I someone's that, saying you have a hidden talent that's an Elvis impersonation. It's not very hidden. <laughs> uh, when, when when did you do when, did I, how did i miss that watch wait at comic cons and stuff you'd bring bring it out yeah, did you have the full wig that. and everything no i just in channel my inner elvis oh have you been to memphis pardon no <gasps> you got to go to graceland graceland because um, i did i did a elvis musical when i was a whippersnapper um, oh. And I won an Elvis singer. This, uh, the luggage that I still travel around in, I won it in an Elvis um, sing along competition. Um, you're getting some requests to bring, they want to see Elvis. Where is he? Don't, you, don't, you, don't have to, you don't have to ask an actor twice. <laughs> Do you want to whip out a bit of Elvis? You want to whip out a bit of Elvis for us? Or is it too? Or is it too early in the morning it's for Elvis? Early. Oh come it's on! What is it? What's your fa- what's your favorite Elvis song? Uh, well that's alright, mama. That's alright for you. That's alright, mama. I just anything you do. Well that's alright. Yeah. Right. Well that's alright now, mama. Any way you do. Ooh. Oh my! <laughs> oh my! I've never heard you. You've got a beautiful singing voice. Why don't you do more musicals and stuff? I thought you. Well, there was a, a musical that. I you you got to cheer. You, people are Just, cheering for you. I don't. People are cheering for you. They they you can cheer here on Twitch and everyone's like. Ah. I, guys, I did audition for a, a big musical just before. Um, the virus hit, so that's all oh. right. Stasis, so we'll oh, it, it might it, surface though, fine. huh? Pardon? It might surface though after all this craziness is done. Yeah, yeah. So, 
All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you go back to your normal life, David. But I just gonna throw I it back to life. back to the. All right, for another couple of hours, then we've got you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go to the park. Today. I'm gonna do ten because we can go to the park here. Oh, you can. And up and down the hills. Good, 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 good up boy. That's really better. Hard. That's better than 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 my efforts of late. I, I wake yeah, up and you got to lift and carry and. There is a lot of schlepping oh, of the yeah. baba. Um, but before yeah, that, that's, a, I, that's a moving weight. That's like really not, you're really lucky. Look at that, uh, uh, mama bear. Yeah. Uh, now before we we wrap, David, I'm just going to throw it back to the chat chat room. If anybody has any uh, any other last questions that I may have missed because I've been in multitasking mode, please throw them in now. So so that's yeah. the plan for the day: going to the park, finding one more friend. <laughs> Go to the park and find it. Now I'm going to do my ten, my ten up and down. Oh, Bradley Hoffman wants to know what the meaning of life is to wrap this up. <laughs> of course, that would be a Bradley Hoffman. I think we all know that. Don't we? we look inside, and the answer's there, Bradley. Can David speak German, or did they communicate in English, the language of love, or did they communicate in the language <laughs> of love? <laughs> Why did I ask for last questions? I don't know. <laughs> Oh my goodness! I can't believe I haven't seen you Elvis properly, and I didn't I haven't seen you. This is amazing. This is I thought I knew you inside out. I know. Um, I'm like an onion. What's so what's uh, what's he working on now? People want to know. It'd be a big fat wah wah. I'm in yeah. lockdown. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's waiting in chill. Waiting to resume. Um, oh, I did. Sorry, that's not true. I did a um. I had to make a, a, a board, for an audio booth in my closet. I went back into the closet. Um, <laughs> He's so naughty. He's a very naughty boy, that David. So, Wait, so you um, went back into the closet? And yeah, what to do? To do a, like a uh, animation, like things that's like a voiceover stuff. And. Uh, uh, audio books and stuff so that's i finally got off my bum to set that up at home because i've been putting that off for that's the way it's always been going but i've recording at home but i didn't so you have a proper mic set up and stuff like that because i used to just do it over my phone but now i've got set all this stuff up since we've been in isolation so now i've got now finally i've set it all up there's no calls are coming i'm like well that's that there's i'm here is my phone is my phone broken there's um, 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 um I did a animation audition last week. I was like, oh, studio! I've got my studio. Yes, I can use my studio. So wait, so do you put egg egg cartons on the insides or anything like? How do you soundproof it, or you just literally just go and stand in the closet with a mic? I sit in the closet. <laughs> I know it's such a good. It is a glamorous <laughs> career with your booby tape and your. <laughs> Don't need my booby tape for being in the closet. <laughs> I do have to get more booby tape today, actually, because it won't happen. It's very, it sounds um, a very exciting day about to about, about to happen. Uh, all right, on the closing, uh, we've got everyone sending you lots and lots of love. They want us to do a song. That. They want us to do a song together, but guys, I don't think it's actually going to work because Jake and I do songs together, but he, we have a different setup because I think there's a delay. So if we sing together, it, it won't actually work, fellas. So, but maybe we can line it up for another. They all they all want us to do a, a Elvis duo. What, 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 another time, will know. yeah, we'll we'll work on that for you guys. Jeez, high maintenance fans. Yeah. We, H- we, HMF. We love we love the HMFs. Yeah. Uh, lastly, I'm sorry I'm so ignorant, but oh, thank you for being knowledgeable. Excuse me. Two more questions. They want to know yep. what what shows you watch on Netflix. Okay, I watched. I'm very transparent. I watched Joe Joe King. You know the lion thing. Oh, the tiger thing. Tiger Carol thing. Carol Baskin. Yeah. There's something going on there. That's hard. That's hardcore, isn't it? It's so no. hard. And I'm I'm big on on your serial killers. You like that for some nice like, light rom com. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and what else do I like? You now I'm big on my serial. It's like you don't want it. Yeah, I, I'm. That's my area of expertise. Good. You're researching for for Bracca when when Farscape yeah, comes yeah, back. Yeah, Good. Yeah, You're doing your homework. Yeah. Um, and lastly, they want to know what Bracca would be doing today. 
Mm. I think he'd be getting um, a very safe UV D tan because there's UV. They haven't discovered that there's a new new um, way to get to get a lovely all over tan. I think he'd be doing that and having someone a nice long drink. Yes, I like that. That sounds very nice. All right. Well, where can people follow you uh, online and see your adventures? Because we've got a big group of amazing well, fans. I go on Instagram and... every now and then. What's Frankly your Instagram? Dave. What is it? Frankly Dave. Frankly Dave. And are you on Twitter or do you have a, a Facebook fan page? Yeah, I have a Facebook fan page. So I never go on it because I'm really slack. Okay. <laughs> That's all right. You guys can all follow David on the Facebook fan page, but don't expect to see him there because he's too busy. <laughs> well, the Instagram, I do. I post it once in a blue moon there. Instagram, and and what's your address? Just kidding. Frankly, Dave. F R A N K L Y, Dave. All right. Well, we love you so much. Everyone's giving you lots and lots of love. Um. So I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, give you a big cyber cuddle. And I love you very much, and thank you for coming on. You, you're oh, absolute. Yeah. You're, you're our first fast game. Oh, oh, ooh, oh! I didn't know it was that kind of show. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we love you, Dave. Well, just so lovely to see you. Looking fabulous, and I love your energy. And thank you. Very ah. positive. And, ah. Well, when this um, lockdown's done, I'll come and visit you and give you a big proper dude. cuddle. Oh, I'll just see you on okay. set. I'll see you on set, Shiana and Bracket oh, yeah. Strike again. <laughs> All right, I'm going to hang up now, okay? We're not so busy. Um, <laughs> love to everybody. Thanks for thanks for hanging out. And, and thanks for organizing, Gigi. I'll see you hopefully soon. Love you. Bye. 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 Yeah. Oh, he's the best. Okay, so there's beautiful Bracca. I, I'm, now I'm... Oh, oh, I miss him. I miss him. Wasn't that cool, guys? Isn't he just the best? Yay! Wasn't it cool to see him, Ricky? So cool. Um, all right, so lots of exciting things are happening. First of all, so cool. Uh, first of all, now that I have you all here, I lured you in with a bracker, I want to let you know that Anthony Simcoe, who plays Dargo, will be coming on the show and he's going to come on Wednesday, our time, Wednesday at 5 p.m. Wednesday at 5 p.m. we're gonna have Dargo here okay so please spread the word let everyone know Farscape fans uh, non Farscape fans family and friends does a non Farscape fan even exist no. uh, so yeah give it get, uh, share the love uh, I'm gonna pop you on over just for a little bit of uh, to fill you in on what else has been bubbling for me okay so you guys know now that this uh, we've become an affiliate and I do have my special emotes arrived today so hopefully if Jake is patient enough yes next Wednesday Anthony who Anthony Simcoe who plays Dargo is coming on the show at 5 p.m. so uh, we uh, for the subscribers we have special emotes and Jake is gonna help me hopefully install them today so they should be up and running for our subscribers tomorrow so thank you for, for for subscribing. I love you guys so much. And thank you for that awesome cheer and text for um, donating. Very, very special and really, really appreciate it. Uh, let's see. I'm going to also, all these videos that you've seen with Ricky and with David, I uh, you can actually watch them afterwards if you've missed parts of them and stuff. They're actually on the Twitch channel. Uh, so let's just pop over here for two secs. Uh, so we've also been doing some cool zoom chats which have been lots of fun it's good for me because I actually get to see you guys uh, and it's nice to actually put names to faces and faces to names so I just want to show you this so uh, I set up an event page here uh, let's see there you go I'm gonna put the link in the chat oh whoops if I can, let's see, link in the chat here. Okay, so this is the link to our next Zoom meeting. It's 3 p.m. on Tuesday, okay? 3 p.m. on Tuesday. 
and come and hang out with us. We've already done two already and it's been lots of funny. It's been lots of fun. <laughs> Frunium. I was like, what? Uh, it's been lots and lots of fun every Tuesday. Early bird tickets are 20 bucks. Um, so it's l very enjoyable to actually see other people and you don't have to wear a mask. So that's even more beneficial. Uh, this is my David Franklin page that I've been stalking him with. And then I wanted to let you know too, guys, that here we have uh, this little shop here uh, and I sell autographs and uh, personalization and all that fun stuff uh, on this, uh, this website, which is ggedgely.com because I know we can't all hang out at comic conventions at the moment. So if you want to buy some goodies for your loved ones or want to decorate your wall like I have back here with lots of crazy, amazing photos, then you can check out that shop. Uh, before I wrap it up and serenade you all, I also want to tell you about this little CD that I have, which is some fun. It's an EP uh, with my music on it. And we also have a cool little USB here, uh, which I made because a lot of us don't have CD players anymore. So I made this cool USB so you can pop it in there and it has a music video and some unreleased music and some handwritten lyrics. And my beautiful sister is an artist and she's got some paintings on there as well. And the last very cool treat that I want to show you is this a CD? Is the CD? No, the CD is different music to the USB. The USB is more current music and the CD uh, is uh, a little earlier on when I, when I first moved to Hollywood. And this is more sort of dan dance kind of vibe. It has a cover of Love is a Stranger that sometimes I play. I can actually play it for you on the way out if you like. And uh, it's got three original songs as well and a music video and handwritten lyrics and a thank you note. Uh, and lastly, I'm also selling uh, my autograph and personalization on some cool comms that we got made. Uh, they're replicas of the ones that were on the show and they're absolutely beautiful. It feels like the exact uh, prop that we had on the show. So you, you too can speak to Moya and the, and the crazy Fastgate crew. And that's very special as well. So if you want to grab one of these, please get in contact with me on my website, which is gigiedgely.com and I can sort you out. Uh, I have uh, my, on the contact page, I'll just head back there for two secs so you can see. There's music, there's my Australian showreel here, which is kind of fun for some non-alien stuff. This is my uh, email that goes directly to me. So feel free if you want to pick something up to contact me, that would be cool. Uh, but yeah, so now, uh, before you go, I'm not sure how to donate to Twitch. Oh, so I believe that uh, Tex, is it, it's on the bottom of the screen, isn't it, for you guys? Because I don't have the same screen up as you guys. Let me have a look. Let me see. I'll try and figure this out. That's a pretty good question. <laughs> So if I'm looking up, ah, oh, we now I'm in a loop. Ah, wait a minute, no, oh no, more loops. Here you go. Uh, that, is that how you do it? Oh my god, I'm in a loop in a loop. No, I'm in the matrix. How do I get out? Oh, this is trippy. Oh, uh, get me out, get me out, get me out. <laughs> now get out of it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> So this is not helping at all. <laughs> Tex, help me out. <laughs> I'm stuck in my Twitch land, Twitch universe. <sighs> so let me see if I can figure this out. I believe at the bottom of the page, uh, there's a donate button. Uh, so under your screen, you can see it, but I dare not go back there. <laughs> Jake, help her. Is Jake here? Is he awake? Jakey, my brother. Yeah, so we had the two brothers in the room. Someone said mum was here, but I didn't know. Uh, <laughs> it looked, felt like I shot through a wormhole right there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but at the base of the screen that you guys are looking at, um, there's links to all my pages and everything. And here, let me see if I can go back here. I'm scared to go back. I don't want to go back into the loophole. 
Should we go back to the wormhole? Let's see if this works. Twitch. <laughs> Are we going to get sucked in there again? There you go. Okay. So now, okay. <laughs> if I guess. So what I think what you guys are seeing is this, right? This is trippy. Whee! Here we go again. But if you go down just underneath, there's a donate button there. And that's how you donate if you're keen. And this is links. I'm on Patreon at Patreon and YouTube and Discord. We do some fun sessions in there sometimes as well. So before I get sucked into that wormhole. All right. So wrapping it up today, I'm going to serenade you. Okay. It's, uh, let's see, I'm going to do a bit of Maloko for some fun. It's called Sing It Back. All right. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow we're going to do a watch party. Uh, I'm going to do a watch party. Ricky, I'm going to do a watch party of Family Ties. Uh, we're not allowed to broadcast it, but we do, uh, we zip back and forward quite a lot. I tell lots of fun stories. So this is in uh, support of bringing Farscape back. We all watch it on our Amazon Prime, or you can watch it on your DVDs if you have it. But if Amazon Prime would be even better if you do have Amazon Prime, because we want Farscape to come back. Yay! Oh, my shave underarms. Anyway, so uh, I'll see you tomorrow at five o'clock. Um, but I, first of all, I'm going to give you a little, a little, a few tunes. Let's see. I just have to turn my fan off. A little, little bit, bit of, of fun. fun. It's, it's me mucking, mucking around, around with my new toy, toy so.
bit of fun for ya. That was a little bit of a jam of good old Maloko. It's always obviously just an improvised session. So <laughs> thank you guys. Uh, so yeah, I hope you all had fun with beautiful David. We're all in this together. Uh, so I'm sending out all the goodness to you. Uh, you these sessions are beyond highlights of my life and my day and I really really cannot express to you how much I dig hanging out with you all and supporting beautiful Farscape and thank you Zesnek for following thank you uh, so yeah I'm gonna now have my brother to help me install the new emojis so we can have a play with them for the subscribers and yeah, big, big love to all of you. I uh, So spread the word. Tomorrow we're going to be doing a watch party of family ties. And uh, then we're going to be doing... Thank you for following, Nala. Thank you so much. Really appreciate all the follow followers and the subscribers and the donations and all the love. From the bottom of my heart and soul, really appreciate you. Uh, so uh, thank you Ricky for coming in if you're still here you might be playing with the cats by now uh, and Cheryl I don't know you're probably busy doing n normal human things but sending big love to all so we've got the zoom chat Tuesday at 3 but tomorrow and Anthony 5 on Wednesday but tomorrow we're going to watch family ties with everyone alright so let everybody know 
share the love and uh, I'm gonna give you some I'm gonna play you out let's have a look oh I tell you what we'll do the little hashtag teaser this is an amazing film that we made with fans and uh, it's actually been uh, it, it, it's been going around the festival circuit and it's had some fantastic credits and we're working on developing developing it into something bigger for you as well but this is the teaser for hashtag love you guys so much i'll see you tomorrow at five o'clock thank you anonymous cheer for your beautiful cheers as well and make sure you follow david and uh, lots and lots and lots of love bye Welcome to your new celebrity franchise. Open the door to the rest of your life. Four, three, two, one, ready, go. Oh, I'm gonna level over you. X, what is your status? If you want to be successful, love what you're doing. Submit. 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 Product Flash. No, you are the best friends. You're bringing social media to the next level. Be famous. I wish I was you. The ultimate influencer. The ultimate celebrity. The ultimate you. You will have all the friends you've been dreaming of. Make their choices for them. You have opened the door to the rest of your life. Fame, fame is just a heartbeat away.